Greetings everyone and welcome back to another installment in the iWish series, a series in which I buy questionable tech products from sites such as AliExpress, Wish and eBay just to see if they're any good, most of the time they are not, but I like to buy this stuff so you don't have to. Most folks should know if they see this they are looking at a big scam, but some out there aren't really aware of this, so hopefully this video serves a purpose in helping people not to buy these drives that are advertising everywhere. And obviously you've seen in the title what this is, but I have went and purchased a supposed 64 terabyte external drive from AliExpress, which I'll look at the listing very soon. This one is going to be a very interesting video indeed. And just a quick note about a 64 terabyte drive, the only drive that has been commercially available is the Exa Drive NL, which is an SSD and not a hard drive, and it's made by a company called Nimbus Data, which for a 64 terabyte version, you are looking at 10,900 US dollars. Otherwise, as for hard drives themselves, the maximum capacity is about 22 terabytes. So if the price is too good to be true, it most likely is in this case. I held a live stream before I went on my break, and you folks voted that I should take a look at this, especially a longtime viewer and supporter of this channel named Everyday Blind, or King Cobra as his cool nickname, so big thank you to him for selecting this product, as well as many others that did donate on that stream. I'll make sure to display all your names on screen, so thank you very much to everyone who did contribute, I really appreciate it, and it is going towards products you all want to see, but we all know that this is going to be a big scam, since I've done four other videos on fake drives from Wish, which I'll cut up the top here. Feel free to check those out, since they're all various advertised capacities ranging from 512 gig to 8 terabytes, but it has been a while since I looked at one, so the question is, have they changed up the internals to something more than a few USB flash drives or a USB drive connected to an extension cable? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out, because today I'm going to be taking a look at the new high-speed external 2TB, 4TB, 8TB, 16TB, 32TB, 64TB hard drive USB 3.0 2.5-inch hard disk storage devices for desktop laptop. That's a mouthful and a half. Currently, it's selling on AliExpress for $57.88 Australian, which I'll display a currency conversion chart just so you get a rough idea of how much this big scam costs you. And if you don't purchase this, save yourself the $57.88, because you are definitely not going to get 64 terabytes in a small form factor like this for $58. You can probably get a one terabyte drive for around this price range. And I've just checked, the listing is still actually up on AliExpress. Please do not purchase this item whatsoever. As I said beforehand, I'm fairly sure that most of you are well-minded enough to know that this is a big scam, but I'm here just for the whole fun of it to see if it's still the same scam as we've seen on the previous drives. Feel free to start guessing in the comments now what you think the storage capacity is going to be in this drive and what method they're going to use. In the listing there's a specification sheet that says this product is made by Xiaomi Corporation brand, shipping without Xiaomi packing and there is no any Xiaomi logo on the product. Thanks for your understanding. So they're claiming that this is a Xiaomi external drive. That's very interesting. And it's compatibility, drag and drop, easy use, it's compatible with USB 2.0, even though it's supposed to be USB 3.0. The features say that it's a sleek, thin and metal, easy to use, highly flexible protection for your files and all that sort of stuff, USB 3.1 Type-C powered portable add-on storage, and it has an internal shock sensor and ramp loading technology protects your drive and data. So does my data load up a ramp into like a truck and get driven away to an undisclosed location? I'll just agree with that. The pictures in the listing show the pocket size slim style fits comfortably in the palm of your hand so you can take the massive amounts of files, photos, music and videos you love wherever you go. Yes, because I'd love to have all of my memories saved on this thing only for them to be wiped when I plug it into another computer. The system compatibility is Windows, Mac, and Linux, and the drive is right there. And as you can see, the USB connector on it is the first generation USB 3 connector that still can be found on some external drives, but now Type-C is more common than this micro USB plus an extra connection there for the USB 3 speeds. Plug and play with no software to install, just plug it in and go. The portable hard drive is ready to use immediately. Simply attach the USB cable to your computer and you're ready to start sending files with a cup of coffee holding the cable down. That's safe, I guess. All right, folks, that's everything that I have to say about the listing. Now is the moment you've all been waiting for. Time to have a look at my 64 terabyte hard drive, which is just nothing. There is a tiny bit of weight to it, which is probably the aluminium casing on this. The customs declaration says it's a U-Disc 2509 64 terabyte red, which accordingly is exactly what I've ordered. Okay, well, I'm very intrigued about this 64 terabyte drive from AliExpress. Let's crack it open and see what it looks like. Okay, there it is. M.2 SSD, SHL R320, Type C, USB 3.1, portable SSD, 64 terabyte hard drive enclosure, small portable high speed storage metal housing. So that's not making sense. M.2 SSD, Type C, USB 3.1. It'd be hilarious if there's an M.2 drive in here. On the side, we have high speed with a rocket, easy carry with a nice 
little leaf there blowing in the wind and security intelligence i'm sure it doesn't portable ssd yes it is parameters m.2 product interface usb 3.0 micro b usb 3.1 type c gen 1 is it usb 3 micro b or is it usb type c i'm confused supports hard disk m.2 and next gen form factor there's also a little guy down here that's painting the bin saying don't litter no don't litter this your 60 dollars of e-waste is right here let's crack it open then so we have a type c cable and is it type c it certainly is type c this is it usb 3.0 just printed on there which you can actually kind of rub that off if you wanted to otherwise there's nothing really going on with this so far as i said extremely lightweight Nothing seems to be moving around in there. Let's plug it into a laptop and just do a bit of a quick investigation of this. All right, I've got my crappy test laptop in front of me. I'll plug the drive in and see what happens. Okay, it's now shutting down. So that happened. All right, let's do that again. Okay, we're good this time. It has come up as an SSD and it says 63.8 terabytes. Let's open H2 Test W then. Select our SSD and let me go ahead and write and verify this drive. This is gonna take a very long time as it usually does. What's the write speed looking like? 18.1 megabytes a second. I've got it in a USB 3.0 port as well. There is a tiny little LED that they've got on there. Didn't think there was one. There's no screws holding this thing together. So I'm kind of wondering if I just get my little pry tool, shove it in the edges of it and pop it open. We're going to see what's inside of it. I don't want to do this testing and have to wait so many days for this to finish. So I'm just going to pop it open now. Let's take a look inside of this. How well have they glued it down? That's the question. They usually put a lot of glue in here. Oh yeah. There's, oh shit. There's glue. There's some hot glue. No problems. I'll take that as it is. I can see some of the innards. Can't get to them as of yet. I have no idea what's in there. Okay. I'm going to have to unplug it. They really do not want anyone getting in here. I've managed to break the plastic. I'm seeing hot glue. Too late to turn back now. All right, folks, here is our 64 terabyte drive. What even is this? Okay, then. Um, that's a different one <laughs> then. That's a very different one. This is our 64 terabyte drive from AliExpress. So there is a micro SD card slot, which obviously has a micro SD card loaded onto there, but there's also a spot for a NAND flash to be installed. So I'm actually unsure of the purpose of this because this wouldn't be an external SSD because it's got the card reader. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with this. All right, let's remove the SD card with our generous amounts of hot glue that we've thrown on. The micro SD card is literally blank. There is not a single piece of information on this thing. If someone could tell me in the comments what this thing could actually be, feel free to let me know because there's a few unused connectors on this and I wonder if that is actually a USB 3 controller. But I may as well test this in its proper glory. I'll connect it up to the thing and see how close this gets to 64 terabytes. I'm guessing 16 gigabytes, if that. It's got two little LEDs on it, one there and one there. Also, I'll link this software down in the description below. So feel free to test this on your own device that you may have purchased somewhere that you're not sure if it's legit or not. Run this, write and verify it just to make sure that all is good. Also, yeah, they really did stick this down. Not as much hot glue as we've seen on other drives, but still enough. So a bit of an update while testing. I accidentally knocked the laptop while I was testing it and it kind of shut down like it did in the video. So I've had to start the test again, but this time I've taken the SD card out of the contraption, put it straight into the laptop and started testing it. And as you can see, it's only come up as 64 gigabytes instead. I had to format the SD card when I plugged it in and then it came up as 64 gigabytes. So after this is finished doing what it's doing, I'm gonna put another SD card in this to see if it spoofs the capacity back to 64 terabytes and try and figure out what is going on here. Is this going to be a genuine 64 gigabyte micro SD card that they've given me? Well, there's only one way to find out. And to my surprise, this is actually a legit 64 gig micro SD card they've put in this, which that's worth about $12. The question is, if I just get, let's say an eight gig micro SD card, put it into the contraption, plug it in, will it come up with 64 terabytes or will it show the true capacity? There is the eight gig micro SD card installed. Let's plug it in and see what it comes up as. Let's check it has come up as eight gigabytes so what's happened is the board itself is only just whatever the hell it's intended for but it works just as a micro sd card reader with a type c usb port it was in fact the 64 gig card that was installed in this that had been tampered with to come up as 64 terabytes once i had formatted that i'd gotten rid of the 64 terabytes and showed the true capacity so that is everything that is going on with this which i hope that does all make sense but anyways let's go back to normal footage and we'll finish this video off 64 terabytes 
and this is what you get. Of course, I wasn't going to get anything close to a terabyte worth of storage, but I was just intrigued to see if they've changed up the methods that we've seen on the previous videos, and they certainly have. They've changed it to this thing here, which it still baffles me as to what this is. I did open a dispute with AliExpress, and I have chosen to return the item just to see what the seller does, because I've sent them a photo of the item disassembled in hopes that they can take the seller down and more people don't fall for it, because there's two terabyte ones on there that people can easily fall for, but it will be exactly this inside of the casing. But by making these videos, I'm just showing that these are the scams that are still out there. So please be careful when you do purchase storage devices online, make sure they're from a reputable company like Seagate, Western Digital, Toshiba, Samsung, all that sort of stuff. Make sure they're from a proper company. While storage prices are definitely dropping, you definitely cannot get a 64 terabyte drive for almost $60 Australian from AliExpress as I've proved today. I'll let you know the outcome of the AliExpress thing down in the pinned comment. I don't know when I'll hear back from them, but I'll update it in due time. Well, that's it, everyone. That's taking a look at the 64 terabyte hard drive SSD portable thing from AliExpress. I hope you did enjoy this video. And I do apologize if it went a little bit too long, but a big thank you to King Cobra or Everyday Blind for choosing this product on my live stream. You were curious to see what this is, and I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed seeing this video. I'll link your Twitter and YouTube in the description below, so feel free to check him out and give him a massive thank you for donating to see this product. And I'll also show the list of everyone else that did donate on that live stream to see these AliExpress products. I really hope that you're enjoying this series once again. And after I do this lot of AliExpress items, maybe we can do this again and choose more items from AliExpress to have a look at because we just have no idea what we're going to receive at the end of the day. Always do your research before you commit to buying something online. That's all I can say. But thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed this. And as always, please Please take care, stay safe, be good people, and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be a cheapo product from AliExpress, most likely, or something else along those lines. We'll see what happens. But until then, take care, and I'll see you next time. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.